A state audit slams the big Fresno fair for mishandling of funds and lack of documentation. Fox 26 News reporter Myra Franco tells us what she found in that report and fills us in. An audit conducted by the state and recently released found the Big Fresno Fair not in compliance with several things for the years 2020 and 2021. One finding revealed what it calls an unethical pay to play scheme with the Friends of the Big Fresno Fair Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization. This is the Big Fresno Fair's 34 page performance audit conducted by the California Department of Food and Agriculture. It found what it calls a total of 13 reportable conditions. Most of the findings have to do with allegations of improper practices, mishandling of funds, and lack of documentation. Auditors also say they found this a pay to play scheme with the nonprofit Friends of the Big Fresno Fair Foundation. It says the Big Fresno Fair improperly allowed the foundation to collect nearly $550,000 in payments from several contractors wanting to do business at the fair. A total of 12 contracts from the Big Fresno Fair were found that required contractors to donate funds directly to the foundation. But the state's legal office says they can't do that. Another finding with ties to the nonprofit, it gave out cash and gift cards to Big Fresno Fair employees, totaling nearly $90,000 between the year of 2017 through 2021. It says not one employee reported it on their required state tax form. During that same time period, 29,000 gallons of gas were unaccounted for in the documentation, which auditors called weak oversight. The president board of directors for the Big Fresno Fair, Terry Gonzalez, responded to the audit with a statement saying, The Big Fresno Fair and the board of directors are fully committed to aligning all corrections identified in the compliance audit. In fact, this work has already begun. He also made it clear that whatever happened before he got into office won't be happening anymore on his watch, saying, In the future, no contracts will contain financial terms for third parties, and any financial gain will be for the DAA only. Additionally, the DAA has provided all current contracts to CDFA legal for review. This practice did not take place in 2022 when the current CEO independently took over the daily operations. The 21st DAA will comply with FPPC Form 700. The board will also implement a policy relative to receiving gifts for DAA employees. And this practice happened in 2019 for a short time and has not happened again. The current CEO was not in favor of the practice and will not allow it in the future. I reached out to the former and current Big Fresno Fair employees who oversaw all fair operations during the audit's time frame for comment or interview. We have not heard back from them at this time. In studio, Myra Franco, Fox 26 News. Auditors also found 59 credit card purchases totaling up to nearly $6,000. The Big Fresno Fair could not provide documentation to justify those purchases made. Yeah, it also said none of the credit card purchases were reviewed by appropriate representatives to make sure that it followed state laws, regulations and policies.